Alright, Shalom. I want to start off. <clears throat> like, I want to start off and give it all praises on and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahshim, Bashim, Rakai Kadash. The one that said the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the whole Felek. I'm the brother Hanaya coming back with another video. Now, the topic that I want to be talking about today is called seven deadly sins so another seven deadly sins series right but the topic is rat right rat now when you look into the word rat <coughs> it says extreme anger you know <coughs> it says extreme anger when you really, 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 really angry, right? And this is not, you know, obviously we, 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 we know certain things, right? It does say, the scriptures do say, like, the scriptures do say that, um, Reply. Um, sorrow. Let me see. He that increased in knowledge increased in uh, yeah. It says Ecclesiastes one eighteen for in much wisdom is much grief right because you gonna know stuff. You gonna realize what's going on going on in the world. You gonna know stuff like a. Hey, what what people are doing to get rich for example. What these elites be doing behind the, the scenes, sacrificing uh, people, you know, children, raping children and stuff like that, you know, what they be doing in the churches when when you look when you when you look at all this, <coughs> and the wisdom that you got from your Bashim uh the eye self also to see those things and to know those things and know what these heathen did to us and stuff like that, you're gonna be angry. You know and rightfully so too rightfully so too but because you're angry that don't mean you you gotta still control your anger you know you gotta still still control your anger you cannot be emotional you know you gotta still control your anger and hey don't the scriptures say don't let the sun go down upon your red you know because if you let it go down upon your red you might do you might start plotting like okay i'm gonna do this tomorrow i'm gonna do that tomorrow meanwhile if you was sober if, if you if you if you if you was not angry anymore then you would have been like oh yeah that's a stupid idea to do you know but because you're angry you're thinking rational you're thinking uh you're thinking because you're angry you 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 start caring less about certain things you know for example, yeah, fuck this job. I'm gonna quit this job. Blah de blah. Meanwhile, if you was, if you was wasn't angry no more, you would have been like, yeah, okay, go going to work tomorrow. Start such and such, you know, because hey, when you're angry, you you don't care. You 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 start caring less. It's like you you start caring less, and when you the more you get angry, the more you start caring less. You know, <clears throat> and the scriptures also say don't make haste in time of trouble right because when you make rational decisions it's not good you know this is ecclesiastes 2 and 2 set thy heart right right set your heart right look hey look look what you're doing you know examine yourself you know and cause constantly endure right constantly endure whatever you go through endure it you know endure it because you you eventually you gonna win, man. Eventually, you gonna win whatever you go through. Eventually, your side, you gonna find a way to get out of that trouble that you're in, you know, right now, that hell that you're catching right now. Eventually, you you gonna find a way out, or your Bashimasha might just reduce that stress, you know, if you pray for that, you know, and constantly endure and make not haste. In time of trouble right because when you make haste in time of trouble you gonna start making decisions like not good you you aren't gonna make good decisions you know because you're hasting you you don't think about everything in detail 
what can happen because it's not on your mind it's only on your mind to be fast fast with uh, the decisions that you make you know who who do who do things like that females do stuff like that man they make uh, decisions based on their emotions but also when they when they uh, when they are in trouble you know when they when they haste then they haste you know and that's not good you know they they make they make the <coughs> decisions based on emotions that it can be a very stupid thing to do but sh yet she will do it because she feels that way you know <laughs> and you shouldn't have that same spirit you know if you're angry hey just uh, pray for the lord for uh, you know for patience and uh, for temperance man because the opposite of being uh, opposite the opposite uh, the opposite of temperance is not having um, how do I call it careless careless uh, yeah not careless more like not disciplined you know I mean, th then you're not disciplined you know, when you have temperance, you you hold yourself, you control yourself, you maintain yourself, you discipline yourself, you retain yourself, self-control, self-discipline. You know, that's temperance. You know, but if if you if you let just your anger control whatever you're doing, then a you 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 you're, you are not being uh, you're being undisciplined. You know, and a shit happens because we are in the flesh. Shit happens. You know. You get angry, yeah, you know, things happen, but not because we in the flesh. That means like we, you, you can, oh yeah, I'm in the flesh. So I'm going to be angry the whole time. Ur, ur, ur. Nah, man, that's not good. You know, so also, you know, with this truth, you know, like, hey, yeah, you know, fuck these heroes, what they did to us, blah, blah, blah such and such. You know, because you're going to start understanding, like uh, Ecclesiastes says, like you're going to start understanding what, what they've been doing, you know, what they've been doing during slavery and stuff like that, you know, and you're going to get angry. But yet, even when you're angry, Yao Shai said vengeance is his. So we got to wait on Yao Shai to come back, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. We got to wait for him to come back. And when he comes back, then we can, that with that power, with that with that new body that he's gonna give us yard the sa hey yard the sa i can a hey, man i wish i wish you know but with that new bodies that he's gonna give the elect which yard the sa we hope to be a part of right that's why we say hopeful leg like, hopeful elect you know the body that he got that he's going to give the elect hey the elect is gonna you know this is what the elect is gonna do with it Let the high praises. Yeah. This is what the elect is going to do. Psalms 149 and 6. Let the high praises of Yahbashim Yashai be in their mouth. Gala Yahbashim Yashai. That's what we're going to be screaming, man. In that day, you know. And a two edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen. And punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron all these elites all these all these all these elites man all these people that that are so-called kings stuff like that meanwhile they peasants right we are gonna bind all of their all of their noblemen all of their kings you know bind them you know Bind them, you know, sell their daughters, you know, a hey. <laughs> and uh, what else? <clears throat> what else are we going to do to the heathens, you know, as well as these all, all of these, all of these nations, man, 
the heathens you know what we can do what are we going to do to the heathens to execute upon them the judgment written you know thus said the bible he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword here is the faith and patience of the saints you know that's what that's that's is written man that's that's what is written man in revelations you know now to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all his saints praise ye the lord yahweh bahashem yahushai you know that's what the elect is going to do man they're going to execute judgment upon these heathens but before before the elect is going to do that they gotta wait patiently man they gotta wait patiently until yahushai comes back when he opens up the sky with those chariots and he comes with those chariots and the angels then it's gonna be the same time that a the elect is gonna get beamed up they're gonna receive new bodies and <laughs> all these heathens will go into captivity man for what they did unto the nation of israel you know but the key point the key the the main the the whole matter of this video of this lesson is patience man patience patience is very important because when you're angry you don't have patience you don't care you know but when you sl uh, when you slow down when you um, start coming back to your senses again then you're gonna realize hey i'm being angry for nothing man you know i'm being angry for nothing and i shouldn't be angry all the time you know obviously you should be angry because it's gonna keep you sharp but you shouldn't be angry to a point where you you have wrath like you're being extremely angry like you want to do some rational things you know we gotta wait on Yao Bashim Yashai for that man we gotta wait for Yao Shai for that you know we gotta we gotta wait on Yao Bashim Yashai to give us that green light and when is he going to give us that green light when Yahweh Shai comes back, man, one is gonna chase a thousand, and two is gonna put ten thousand a flight. Uh, roughly paraf paraphrasing that scripture. Also, Isaiah 45 or 44 that was talking about, I will make you a new threshing sharp instrument having teeth. You know, basically meaning he's gonna give us give us power. You know, he's gonna give us spiritual power. You know, but anyway ephesians 4 and 26 be angry and sin not let not the sun go down upon your wrath neither give place to the devil right because when you're angry when you're angry you're gonna start making some uh, stupid decisions and demons can come into your head well they will come into your head when you're angry and put thoughts in your brain to make you do some stupid shit and uh yeah man that's why it's not good man it's not good now <coughs> this is the yeah the rat yeah so the the series right the seven deadly sin series now let's go to romans 12 and 19 dearly beloved avenge not yourself but rather give place unto rat for it is written vengeance is mine i will repay said the lord right yao shai is going to repay yao shai Yahweh Shai should be Yahweh Shai is and he should also be the first one to do anything to the heathen nations man he, he do you know what cross he had to bury man what burden he had to bury and you want to be you want to be the first one to 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 do something to ease our eat or to do something to these heathens no man everything goes in everything goes in decency and in order man we gotta wait for those prophets we gotta wait for the prophecies to happen you know and when these prophecies happen when yahweh shai comes back then things is gonna go you know thing then things is gonna go yahweh bashim shai need to give us that green light and that green light comes when yahweh shai is in the sky with the chariots and with the angels then then you know that same time that the elect is going to get beamed up these 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 uh 
these these chariots is going to fire nuclear missiles and uh, not nuclear missiles um lasers man lasers there's gonna come lasers out of those chariots man and they gonna burn up a lot of people man a lot of people especially spiritual babylon aka america you know because that's the main place of wickedness man everything comes there man everything comes from there you know now vengeance when you look into the word vengeance right it it's it's a uh, strong's g thousand five hundred and fifty seven it says ref a revenging vengeance punishment right now when you look into the word vengeance it says the punish the punishing of someone for harming you or your friends or family or or the wish for such punishment to happen but the thing is the punishing uh punishing the punishing of someone for harming your you or your friends or family right and who is going to deliver that first blow yao shai will when yao shai delivers that fl first blow when yao shai does what he what he's going to do then the elect will follow you know the king of kings comes first you know he comes first he will make we will do the first blow who the fuck is you to think you are going to do that first blow man who who, who are you man you nobody man if, if you think like hey <laughs> if you think like hey yeah i will deliver that first blow hey sit your ass down man sit your ass down and wait upon yaw yaw bashim yashai wait on yaw shai man because he is going to deliver that he is going to deliver that first blow that first punishment that first that first hit that first strike boom he is going to deliver that with the angels you know because of what they did man of because of what they did Yahweh, the the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahshai, He is going to show the greatest show, the greatest, the greatest military power that that is in the galaxies, man. He is going to show that on Earth when Yahshai comes back, the Earth is gonna be shaking. You know shaking man <laughs> realize it the whole earth not a country not a uh, so like another land uh, the whole world <laughs> you see now this is nahum one and three the lord yahweh by Hashem Yashai is slow to anger and great in power right and will not at all equate the wicked he will not let the wicked get away with what the fuck they did you know the lord yahweh had had his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet right this is hebrews 10 and 30 for we know him that had said vengeance belong to unto me which is yahweh shai right i will recompense said the lord yahweh shai right and again the lord shall judge his people right he is going to he is going to uh, punish the heathens for what they did and he is going to uh judge judge uh, the nation of israel man judge the nation of israel one one third is going to be saved and two third is going to die because they're going to be judged you know they're going to be judged and a because of a because of the wickedness that these tutors be doing, they they're gonna be put to death, man. You know, nowadays you have lesbians wearing beards, man. What kind of madness is this? This Jake, Jake females. You know, Jake female lesbians wearing beards, man. And you gonna say you gonna say that those people need to be safe? Hey, you out of your damn mind, man. You sick in the head if you think that, man. You is not right. You know, now this is Leviticus 19 and 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy 
Uh, this, this this is speaking about your own brother, but you shouldn't offend your own. Uh, you shouldn't offend. You know, you shouldn't offend and um, seek to kill your own brother. Yeah, yeah. Also, you, you you shouldn't do that, man. Hey, you shouldn't. Hey, if a if a nigga did you did you wrong in the world, right? Yeah. Hey, when when the, when those power come, when that power comes, you know, when y'all shy comes back, and and um. He's going to judge the people with the elect. Then, hey, you can do what you do. You you can do what you what what you may do. You know that that you're allowed with to do. You know that you're allowed to do because the scriptures say uh, the elect is going to be uh, also judging, judging, judging the world, man. Which you are shy. You know. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord Yahweh, right? You should love your neighbor, which means you should love your brother, your fellow Israelite. You know, your fellow Israelite, not the heathens. It's not talking about the heathens. It's talking about your own fellow Israelites. Uh, Leviticus 19, right? And 18, right? But also, but also you should not avenge yourself. You know, the scriptures say that you don't, you don't do that. It's stupid. Don't do it. You need to wait on Yahweh Shai. He will deliver that flow, first blow. You know, this is Deuteronomy 23, 32. So like 30, 32 and 43. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants, which is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai will do that. And will render vengeance to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people, right? The one third, uh, eventually all, 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 the, all of the nation of Israel, he is going to be merciful to them, man, because they, they, they are going to be reborn through the, the elect, you know? The elect is going to make children and they're going to be reborn again, you know? The whole nation of Israel, the the elect is gonna bring back the whole nation of Israel, man. You know, and that's 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 uh, the Most High Yahweh Shem is showing mercy, man. Now, I hope this video was edifying. I wanna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shem Rasha, Yahweh Shem Rakhadash, the bonus to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to the whole elect. I hope this video was edifying, and Shalom.